We're going to do a quick demo here about how to compare pricing between different cloud providers based on the equipment and services in your environment. So I'm going to click on our infrastructure as a service workload cost application here, and that's going to pull up our page that allows us to start doing the side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, one of the first things you'll note here is that I can select and filter which servers or workloads that I want to look at. So I'm going to leave them all selected for now. And what I'm going to do is show what it would look like if I wanted to compare several different uh, workloads across multiple providers. So let's select Amazon Web Services. And I have my first 10 here. Now I'm basing this on usage, not on inventory, so I could switch if I wanted to look at inventory. You'll note that the inventory-based analysis for Amazon means that we're going to have about $96 a day in costs. If we based on usage, we, our cost is only $20 a day. So it's clearly much better to base on usage where you can. Once you look at Amazon Web Services, then you may want to compare against another provider, such as ProfitBricks. So ProfitBricks for the same 10 devices is $15 per day. So you can see that pricing is a little less than Amazon. And now you can begin to evaluate profit bricks and Amazon for the other differentiating features that they have uh, that you may want to explore. If you want to select just a single server and then see the comparison between all of the different cloud providers for that server, you can do that by selecting that server and then examining the pricing here. The total day cost doesn't matter here because it's all those providers together but they're line by line uh, sorting here so you can see the least expensive would be Terramark, the most expensive Peak 10. 